let me get this straight. You just woke up and your symptoms had regressed? Not regressed, vanished. No lesions, no fever, no black mucus. Mm. Oh, this is good. It's unbelievable. I know. It's like I was never infected in the first place. I hate to be the one to say that. That's a clip from the new sci-fi channel hit Helix that airs every Friday evening at 10 p.m. The show just premiered last month and it's already becoming a fan favorite among critics and viewers alike. I'm a bad feeling about that though. <laughs> Why does she not feel sick? Helix star Kira Zagorski is joining us on the couch to dish about what is being called an infectious thriller series. <laughs> it's a kind of a pun. So tell us what Helix is about. Well, Helix is an intense thriller, and it's about a team of scientists with the CDC who are brought to the Arctic to a high-tech research facility because they were called because there's a possible outbreak. And then they get there, and then all these interesting secrets start to become uncovered, and the show starts to become something a bit more, something a bit darker. Word on the street is that it's pretty creepy. This is what yeah. I'm hearing. Yes. And now your character, Dr. Julia Walker, has some history with Billy Campbell's character. Is that correct? Yes. I'm uh, his ex-wife. Oh, no, that's always that's fun. That's always yes. great in the Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, I'm his ex-wife, and I, I show up at the CDC. I've been out in the field. Uh, since our split. I think my character likes to be more hands-on and out there with people. Right. She's traveled to third world countries and really tries to get in there um, with the viruses. But the other thing is that I had an affair with his brother. Oh, Ooh, oh it's a bit classy. Legend. Oh, way to go. <laughs> yeah, Dr. I wouldn't Julie. recommend that with relationship advice. I don't yes. want to. I don't want to like. <laughs> no, don't give anything away because I am intrigued by this. You say this is in the Arctic, right? Yes. Does that become a character in the show? The fact that you guys are so remote and away. Absolutely. Well, I mean, one of the big things about the show, why it's unique and why I think it's interesting is that it's a psychological thriller and part of that starts to happen because you're in this isolated environment. Right, right. Um, then you've got this deadly virus and then you've got all of these other mysteries. People aren't what they say they are, who they say they are, and we're trapped. And so that feeling of being trapped yeah. and being, I can't get outside, I, I, I'm gonna, or I'll, I'll die, I won't be able to survive this, it, it starts to play with the psychology of the characters. And they start to do things they might not usually do if right. they were in right. other circumstances. So oh, their wow. darknesses start to come out. Yeah, but supposedly your character is the key, possibly, to curing these illnesses, is that correct? Possibly. Okay. Uh -huh. there's, there's definitely something that um, Julia is an interesting key to to something. And okay. For the people who haven't seen it, I don't yeah. want to spoil well, anything. But I always ask this question too: How much in advance do you get the scripts before you shoot? Uh, <laughs> the day before, sometimes. Really? And that's by yeah. design, right? Is that just to keep it? So your reaction is caught on film, or is that to keep it secret? Leaks, or yeah. I think there's a bit out. of both things going on. I mean, in the beginning, sometimes I think they knew ex uh, they had a stronger idea of it's going to go like this, and then they started to work with the actors and see who oh, we were and what cool. was going to happen, and then uh, they started trying to play with that in the writers' room, and then uh, just depending on the scheduling, sometimes you'd get it a few days before, and then sometimes like right before. Wow. Yeah, but as an actress, that has to be cool. difficult, you know? I mean, you're on the wire. You gotta really get it in there. They, yes. they, but it's fun with the, the element of surprise because you really have a lot to deal with just within your own with, within this episode. So you kind of, you have to focus in the moment and mm -hmm. then the next thing will come and, oh, now this is happening. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, and, it just, yeah. and it starts to, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of, it's fun. I, I, I actually like it like that. So does, no, does stuff pop out at you? Does, are, there, are there things where things, and, and, and uh, do you ever get scared when you're shooting stuff like that? Or is this? Um, I actually have a lot of laugh attacks on set. Uh. I mean, <laughs> the, the show is really scary and, and intense and thrilling, and, uh, but for me, you're playing in that heightened emotion all day, and then the second they say cut, something would crack me up and I'd yeah. have a giggle attack. And, Good. Yeah. What do you say to the people who think that this is just another zombie show, you know? Like it's well, I think what's cool about Helix is that viruses are a real-life fear for people. Everyone, mm -hmm. every single year, there's a new epidemic. Um, 
since history, there's been these viruses that have wiped yeah. out major populations. And it's one of those things. People wonder, should I get the flu shot this year? Yeah, um, yeah. Even the debate about vaccinating your kids. It's its a huge thing. Well, look at the movie it, Contagion. Oh, my gosh. We I could not sleep. I was, like, washing my yeah. hands repeatedly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. seriously. It's yeah, so you scary. You become a germaphobe. Yeah. Yeah. So. I sold my pet monkey. Yeah. <laughs> I got rid of that thing. Do you, do you get to, uh, do you get to uh, kick? I mean, do you get to uh, fight on this one? Um, there's a lot of action in this one for my character, for sure. There's definitely... Um, there's definitely a lot of things that she gets there's a lot of physical ins experiences that happen with the character and awesome. she's she uh, she starts to learn her strength through the series cool so. because see the helix for us is it's right on 495 oh, and it's horrible. when you come it's in the really, Lincoln yeah, Tunnel it's you usually backed off there. in the morning yeah. but this <laughs> seems a lot cooler yes, than absolutely. that absolutely <laughs> Zagorski <laughs> thanks uh, for exciting. joining us on the couch and good luck with the show and you can watch helix every friday at 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi, where they're doing a bunch of great programming. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. All thank the best you. with the show. Thank you. Thanks.